Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another general love reading. Uh, this general love reading is for any and every zodiac sign, uh, but only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I really would appreciate you. So it appears that the universe has been trying to get your attention pertaining to love. Yeah, baby, we're talking about that love, okay? You could be having dreams. You could be saying 11, 11, 4, 4. You could be saying repeated numbers. You could actually be dreaming about someone that you've never met before. So spirit is showing you signs so if you have not recognized, start paying attention to those little things because they're not little. It says signs. Watch out for signs leading you to true love. And then you have power. It says the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. So what you may not be paying attention to, if you're not paying attention to the signs, like it could be certain songs that come on that's, that's telling you the energy of you and this person. For some of you guys, it could be somebody that you already know. Let's just look, it is what it is. Or it could be potential. It could be like love in the making type of energy. You know how you may have, let's say, you know how you have the cartoons when you have these two energies full of, full of different energies and there's certain connections with each, each individual energy. But the specific energy energy that is aligned with your energy because of your soul contract and because that's a split that your other half, it's almost like everyone in the room totally disappears and it's just you and this person. So spirit is trying to get your attention that you have love. It says it's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. Now, for some of y'all, you don't have a partner. So what I feel like spirit is saying is that if you're doubting, stop doubting, start thinking about how you would like your person to be the qualities. Cause you know, we, you know, we can't be so superficial that we forget about those spiritual things that the relationships can bring when they're healthy. But, you know, we as carnal people, we, um, we, we tend to get caught up on the worldly things in a, in a person instead of the true essence of who they are. Because they could have everything in the world and still be just totally evil, you know, toxic. And they could just be penniless and be worth everything spiritually. But it's telling you to think upon things that bring a good report. Don't focus on any disappointments of relationships in the past because that's what you're going to manifest. Obstacles, see? For some of you guys, you may have somebody who you are currently separated from, but you're thinking the bad of this situation here. And every relationship is going to have obstacles. So there's lessons to be learned. Is it, excuse me, it says look for ways around the distraction. Now the obstacles, look, look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. So when I see this card, I feel like spirit is like giving you an opportunity uh, to try again because the thing that I learned and I ain't saying I know everything so don't come for me I can just let, let me say for my life because as a Scorpio I have to learn more patience 
But we as people, you know, we don't want to, if, if we start seeing the signs <laughs> that it ain't right, some people will, will hang in there for a little while, but the majority of people is not going to hang in there because there's too many other options in the world. At least people feel like it. But if you leave one situation and you go into another, a new situation, one day those same obstacles perhaps could arise in the new relationship. So I don't think it's about the challenges that come in life. I think it's about we, how we deal with them. Usually we deal with them immaturely or we try to run away from it, but we're not learning. That's what Spirit is saying. We're not learning because we're going to keep repeating it. It may not be with the same person. It's going to be with the same energy because we will be attracting it. It's almost like we have to um, change, try something different because, you know, people migrate to what they are comfortable with. They migrate towards their comfort, something that makes them feel safe, whether it's good for them or not. You got receptive. That's in the reverse. It says be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. See, somebody not ready for this, but I feel like spirit is trying to give you the opportunity to prepare for this. See, it's telling you, be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. And you got to watch out for signs leading you to true love. See, so spirit is trying to lead you to true love here because something is drawing you. But for some of y'all, you don't know if it's from somebody from the past or should you let it go? It says it's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner here. So it's time to think about all of the positive things. Seven of Cups, somebody may, ha somebody may be confused. Three of Wands, Strength in the Reverse, Leo Energy, Eight of Wands in the Reverse. See there, they go to the High Priest, somebody not listening to, somebody not watching out for signs, that they're not trusting it, I feel like, even though it's here. So someone is not able to move forward or let go, but someone is definitely in search or looking. With the seven of page of swords, seven of pentacles. But somebody doesn't want to be too impulsive. Somebody doesn't want to move too fast in relationships. But at the same time, they feel like they're behind. Some people feel like it's not worth the hassle now. Because some people feel like if you're single... At least you have your peace of mind. But it seems like as soon as you start entertaining relationships, then you're taking a big risk because you're being exposed emotionally where you wasn't where you didn't have that attachment at first. You only had to look out for yourself. It says the universe is giving you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course, but it's in the reverse. But here what spirit is telling you, it says the universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. See, and then you have watch out for signs leading you to true love. And the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. So in other words, Watch out for signs like spirit is already guiding this to you, but you may not recognize it because it may not look like what, what you what you had wanted it to look like. It may not be with who the person you may have wanted it to be with, but it's because you're not trusting your intuition. You're not seeing the bigger picture. That's what I see. So let's clarify these. You got the seven of cups, the um. The High Priestess, the Chariot, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. You have the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Strength card. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And you have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Leo, Cancer, and the high priestess is your major arcana. So you could be dealing with either of these energies or you could be that energy yourself. So let's see why the seven of cups here. 
you do have the seven of cups which is on top of uh so waiting here so for some of y'all you've already uh put in some time with the relationship and for some of you guys you're you're looking for signs because they may not be showing you whether or not they're your true love and you trying to figure out well god dang we done been together. We done dated for like four or five months now. You ain't said nothing about your mama, your family, your kids. And I'm like, yeah, you always spend time with me, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, what's up? I really, I wonder if you really are the one for me. Spirit is saying, watch out for signs. Spirit could be showing you things in your dreams, but there is a need to see things for what they really are. Because, you know, the seven of cups can um, you know, you could you could meet someone and, and just know or you feel like you know that that's your person. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they knew where off. And if you rush into things, which I see the Knight of Swords in the reverse, then you may not get to know somebody. Ooh, you got a King of Wands, though. Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. So this could be somebody here. So it could be you not sure about this person especially as the king of wands, because we know that that's a, a very, very charming person, uh, gets a lot of attention. Ooh, but you got the four of cups. Somebody may have felt like they was rejected by this person. That's what I'm seeing. See, because they go to four of cups again. So for some of y'all, y'all think someone is your true love and spirit is telling you that's not your person. They're not your person. I'm trying to lead you to the true love. This is why this person keeps on rejecting. This person may have other situations going on for somebody, y'all. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It says, watch out for the signs leading you to true love. So if this is a person here who really is not giving you the time and the respect and the relationship, then that's part of the signs. It really is, y'all. And I know sometimes we get caught up in, you know, what's good about the situation See, this is some, a selfish person. Nine of Pentacles, see? That's why Spirit is telling you, you need to drop this because this ain't even worth your time. I got something better, but you don't believe me. See, this is on the, this was on the bottom and this ain't got nothing to do with that. You got a new opportunity in love coming your way. Some of y'all waiting on this person and this person ain't you. That's why you're not looking at paying attention to the science because some of y'all still focus on this person. This, this, uh, now this could be a very, very attractive person with that nine of pentacles. They self-made, they independent, they do what they want to do. And so they may not be ready to settle down with that four of cups. So the spirit is guiding you again with this power. says the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. What's up with this three of wands? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Why is the three of wands here for the collective? In love. Ooh. The Empress, honey. So for some of y'all, y'all looking out there to see what else is out here is what I feel like because there, there could be something that is drawing you. For some of you guys, you do have a better situation coming here. But I feel like some of y'all have been confused. I feel like um, now it could also, well, I just, I, I don't see it like that. I feel like this person here with the seven of cups. Now it could be now I'm, I, it, it could also be that this, this person here could be a fire sign or earth sign. Um, they've never met anyone like you before. Out of all the people, see, it could be that you get to say whether or not you want this person. Signs here. It could be that the signs is leading this person here. See, this person, they got, people know them. Yeah, yeah they, they got their opportunities with other people. Yeah, they do. But they're rejecting them all. Because I feel like somebody is saying that you're the one. See? Yeah, there's somebody who could have anybody they want. Yeah, they got folks who... If they did want them, they would probably oblige. But they're like, no, uh-uh. Why? Because it could be something. Now, whether you have met this person or not, it's almost like you're gonna you're gonna make this this person here change their. I'm gonna say make because they don't want you coming for me. But you know how you compel. It's like sometimes it takes the right person because with this power says the power of love. It's like a magnet, god dang it, 
drawing souls together. See there? This person could see you. You're going to draw this person. You drawing this person. See, you're drawing this person because they're not happy with the people around them. See, they said they've seen the same things, folks doing the same old stuff. They said, show me something. They said, creator, I dare you to show me something I ain't never seen before. And that's where you come in. Ooh, that's why you got that power. Because Spirit said, I'm finna show, Spirit said, I'm finna shut you up, son or child. The power of love. This is because they never had the power of love in their life until they met you or lay eyes on you. That's what it is. Spirit say you're going to make this person weak to, weak to their knees. It could be a Leo. Folks, their family and friends ain't never seen them bit break down to their knees like that over nobody. They say you must be special, but little do they know you are a divine gift with that Empress energy. What's up with this Empress? It's three of Wands. Dealing with the Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Eight of Wands. There the Eight of Wands again. See there, you got the Eight of Wands over here in the reverse. See, it says it's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. This could be somebody here who is checking you out and you look at them like, boy, you are not on my level. I know you're a player. Yeah, I see you. Nope, no, -uh, I'm not even going to get in that. But they done already made up in there. But little do you know, see, ooh, I told you somebody finna meet somebody who is not scared of a little work. Could be a Pisces and that could be somebody saying you done hypnotized them. They say you did that to them. They see you say, see, because you remember you're magnetic. You remember what the power card said? The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. They say you got that abracadabra love. You know that empress is bad. What's up with the strength card in the reverse? I feel like somebody to knock the Leo down to their knees, honey, in a good way, okay? <laughs> or a Pisces. Ooh, I feel like it's one of those love at first sights. King of Cups. Wow. So you could be dealing with an emperor, a boss like you, because I'm talking to the boss. Uh, uh, look, we're dealing with the divine feminine energy. We're dealing with the supreme royalty energy, uh, royalty uh, genealogy. Your spiritual bloodline connects you. Ooh, see there, the four ones. Wow. Twin flame energy. Eight of ones in the reverse. This is beautiful for somebody. Somebody, once they see you, they're not going to want anybody else. And this could be somebody here who has been pursuing you for a long time. But you was like, boy, gone. I already know how you can do You got this one. Over. You got all these girls after you. Yeah, you a good catch. But now I don't feel like you can give me what I need because, you know, I'm the empress. <laughs> need I say more? <laughs> and he going to be purring all around. Somebody manifesting you or they probably saying, see there. I feel like somebody's shutting down their whole other lifestyle to start over for you because you special. Now, this ain't for those who don't think they special. There ain't no shade. See there? Then I tell you, somebody said that they don't want nobody else. Ooh. Somebody said that they never thought that they would meet the day that a beautiful, beautiful feminine, feminine, will break, break them down to their knees because that's what they're used to doing to them. Ooh, snap. They said that they used to, all they got to do is just smile, God dang it, and they can have anything they wanted. They said now they see how the other people feel when they're around you. See, you got the lover's card twice, one in the upright and one in the reverse. This person said, I don't want nobody else but you. They said, but you're not easy to get, though. That's why they want you, see? Ooh. They said, baby, I spend everything. I will. I will wine you. I will dine you. I will treat you like a lady because I'm a gentleman. Ooh, that's what they saying. So for some of y'all, you got somebody here who is really, really landing on thick, but you don't trust if they really are, are uh, can commit because of how you know them as this is what this is so this could be this could be somebody here who gets around who you know of 
And you're like, boy, I done heard about you. I already know what's up. But little do you know, you got this person. It's like this person feels like you're the one. You can't tell this person you're not the one for them because they're choosing you. And I feel like something in you kind of want this guy, but you're afraid that they really are a player like that. Now, what's up with this high priestess? Spirit could be telling you. The spirit could be telling you because the saying pay attention to the sign. But you're like, I don't believe it now. I know about so-and-so. I seen him out with so-and-so. I don't believe it. Now, why would he change for me? I mean, I am the emperor, but I'm just saying, y'all don't believe it, do you? What's up with this high priestess? You could be dealing with a Pisces here. Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Gemini, Gemini here. All right, what's up with this high priestess? See? Because some of y'all are confused. You, you don't know how to let it unfold naturally because you, you may be afraid to give this person the chance. See, they go to moon card. Because somebody feels like they need to know in order to give this a chance. And somebody, if you're trusting your intuition or you may not be feeling like, you, I feel like you don't believe. I feel like you're not trusting your intuition because it may be telling you that it's safe to be with this person or to at least give them a trial or talk to them or conversate with them, go out to date with them and see. But I feel like you're too afraid that if you actually take them up on the offer, you're going to like it. <laughs> Oh, you know he gonna spoil you. Somebody wanna spoil you. Got the Ace of Pentacles, see? <laughs> oh, but you scared, see? I told you, all they wanna do is just take you out and show you a good time. But you too afraid you gonna like it. That's all. Chariot in the reverse. You just like, nope, don't come by my house. Don't, don't pick me up. <laughs> and they're being a gentleman in this Knight of Swords in the reverse because they don't chase nobody. But I feel like this person here is is restraining themselves because you got the strength card. It ain't because they scared of you. It's because they respect you. That's why. Because they ain't used to chasing nobody to a sword, but y'all confused. Y'all don't believe it. Y'all scared. <laughs> Somebody's afraid. Somebody's afraid that they that, that somebody that I feel like is in pursuit of them and I feel like this person really, really, because come on now, if you know anything about a king of wands, especially if they are a Leo, because you got the strength of card in the reverse. If you know anything about a Leo, especially a masculine Leo, they're a gentleman. They're extremely charming. They're, I mean, they are effortless lead charming i mean <laughs> so i get it if you ask the spirit spirit is they the one <laughs> is they is they because y'all don't believe it you don't believe it because i feel like you feel like you're gonna like this person but they're gonna disappoint you see y'all feel like this person ain't a relationship type y'all feel like this person is not gonna respect you and give you what you want because you feel like in the king of wands and the nine of pentacles if they are up to no good but what spirit is saying is you don't know if you tr unless you try to go to ten of cups yep somebody got an opportunity here with a player because <laughs> they ain't trying to be no player no more <laughs> not for you honey all right what's up with this page of swords they stalking you though this person probably sending you messages see this person already made up in their mind Ooh, they go to judgment card Ooh, they go to queen of cups Ooh, they go to 10 of cups. And now all this person wants you to know is that you can trust them. They ain't like, see, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. This is why Spirit is steady telling you, are you paying attention, child? I'm trying to get you the one you know. This could have been somebody you have been manifesting, but you don't believe that it is them. But it is them. You just don't trust what universe is showing you because you doubting it. But spirit's telling you it's them. It's say this your true love for somebody. Somebody here who you thought would never settle down. You thought that they wasn't a settler down type. That they they probably wasn't, but they hadn't met you. They hadn't met you. That's what happened. Because this person feels like there's only one you. Three, seven of Pentacles, two of Cups, six of Swords, three of Pentacles. This person looking to build a life. They go to three of Wands. So you got the three of Wands next to the Empress. See, this person sees a future with you, but y'all not trusting it. There it is again with this Knight of Swords in the reverse. Because some of y'all need to let go of the past and focus on what's ahead of you. Somebody don't want you to 
look at them like somebody from your past because they don't mind proving and building your trust. All they want is a chance because I feel like somebody's going to be pleasantly surprised with this king of wands. Seven of wands because this person is persistent. See, like I say, they're not like everybody else. They're going to they gonna prove to you that they're the one for you. And once you see, you're going to move forward with this person because I feel like spirit going to let you know. That, that it is safe to be with this person. And for somebody, you're going to get everything you've always wanted with the least expected person. All right? So this is your collective reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.